books is an activity that teachers can do to help accelerate learning for our littlest learners. Today you're going to see some video of me making books with first graders. These children are reading at a level A and a level B in first grade. So obviously it's time to do something to accelerate their learning. All of these children know their letters and they know some of their sounds. They have some sight words under their belt. They're reading emergent books A and B and they're starting to transfer what they know about letter sound correspondence into the books that they're reading. So we want to accelerate the learning that they're doing and that's the activity that you're going to see today. Through making their own books, students are able to talk, do some oral language uh, rehearsal, practice their letters and the formation of the letters, practice using their high frequency words, in creating a book that's their own, which creates confidence and excitement and uh, a flurry of activity that will accelerate these kiddos in their reading and writing achievement. I've been told that you guys are the kind of first graders who have been reading, practicing your reading. And do you know how you get better at reading, Ian? Um, you can be smart. You be smart. And do you practice, Zai? Do you practice your reading? You do. Okay, well then I have the perfect two boys in here with me today because to order to practice your reading, you have to have books, right? So today, Ian and Zai, guess what? We're gonna make our own book. Beautiful. Yeah, you are gonna make your own book and then you're gonna read it to me. All right, ready? All right, so I have some pictures that I want to show you. And here's the very first picture. Take a look at that. What do I you know see? It. What do you see? It's a bear. It's a bear. He has a fish in his mouth. Mm -hmm. Anything else that you notice about this picture? Um, they're in water so they can catch fish and eat it. What do you think, Zai? You want to add on to that? So look at this picture, and now I want you to look at this Wait, picture. I know that one. I look at this picture. I think I know that. What do you What do you notice about this one? It's oh. an eagle flying, and they caught a fish. Sorry. Eagle got a fish. He's flying. He's flying in the air. What else do you notice? Maybe it's going. Maybe it's going to feed his babies. Maybe. Maybe. What do you think, Sai? Eagle. Huh. So here is a bird, right? And here is a a bear, right? What's it like about both these pictures? Yeah, Zai, what's it like? The bears. Bears can eat fish. Bears can eat fish. What about this picture? Eagles can eat fish. Yeah, the eagle can eat the fish too. What do you think that's the same about these pictures? Um, they both eat fish. They both eat fish. Who's they? Animals. Animals? animals. What kind of animals? Um, a bear? And the eagle. And the eagle. And, and there's is an another eagle a bird? bird? Um, no. Yeah, it is a bird. An eagle is a bird. Oh, it's a no special kind of bird. And other birds go and the other birds go eat, and they go get more fish. All right, let me show you one more picture. Wait, this what? is an owl. Owl? Uh -huh. I can make an owl sound. What do you notice? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this I one's eating a fish. fish is that? What kind of fish is that? Um, I think that's black. It's black. It looks like black. A blackfish? Yeah. Uh-huh. What do you think the owl's going to do? Eat this. He's going to eat it. He's going to eat what? The fish. He's going to eat the fish. What's the same about all three of these pictures, you guys? Um, they all eat fish. They all are eating fish. So here is a bear. Uh -huh. He is eating a fish. Fish. Here is an 
owl, he is eating a fish. fish. Here is a eagle. Fish. It's an eagle, and an eagle is a bird. What's he doing? Eat fish. He is eating a fish. Exactly. So that's what I was thinking. That could be the book that we write about these animals that are eating fish, right? Okay, so before we get started, I just want to see if you guys know these words. What's this word? I know. Just say it if you know it. You. You. Okay. Play. Play. See. Can. Oh. I said it. Is. What do you think, Ian? Here. I, I mean, here. Uh, here. What about that one? <laughs> what is it? Here. here. What's different about these two here? What? Because. They're the same, but it's the other one is like an uppercase and another one is a lowercase. So I was thinking today we could write a book about these animals. And we were talking about here is a bear. A bear. So maybe we could write that. Here is a bear eating a fish. What do you think? Yeah. We were talking about how we could write here is a, what are you going to write? Bear. Bear. And what's the bear doing? Eating fish. Eating a fish. So if you were going to write that, here is a bear eating a fish. You do it. And let's count how many words that is. That's. Okay, put your hand up. Here, here is, is a bird, bird eating bird. a fish. How many words is that? Um, six. Seven, actually. Seven. And what's the first word? Um. Okay, say the words with me. Here. Here. It's here. Here. What's the next word? You can sing with us. Here. Here. Is. Is. A bear, bear. Eating. A. Bear. Fish. fish. So what's the first word? Um. He. Uh. Ready? Put your hand up. Here is a bird eating a fish. Nice. So you saw um, Ian and Zai today working on a book of their own. You saw them talking about the pictures that I showed them and then discussing what is alike about these pictures and what is different from these pictures. So we were able to do some oral rehearsal before the children even started writing. Once we determined a topic that we have animals that are eating fish, the students generated their own sentences. I wanted to front load them because I wanted them to practice some of the sight words that they are having um, difficulty with. And um, we know that to accelerate learning we need to have these kids see these words and use these words um, more and more. So Ian and Zai um, worked together to create a sentence that they could write on each page. Then we, I used interactive writing where they wrote some of the words and I helped them if they got stuck on a word that I didn't want to hold them responsible for. Because we are following a phonics continuum of learning our letters and sounds, Certainly there are some words that they hadn't been taught yet, some spelling patterns, some ta target phonic skills that would be new for them. So when that happens, I simply fill in the word for them. So once we created the sentence, the students wrote the sentence, you saw they were able to read the books all by themselves. So I'm going to take these papers and I'm going to make copies of them and then these boys will have their own book to put in their book baggie that they could read and practice and enjoy. The next group of children that you're about to see are level B readers. They are struggling with some of the high frequency words that they were taught in kindergarten. Words like am and see and my. I've administered the core phonics survey and realized that these kids, while they know some of their letters and sounds, they're not firm in all of them. They also, every one of these um, children that you will see, is struggling with some confusions like B and D. 
So in this session today, we're going to create a book together and we're going to try to use some of these words that they need to see and practice more often. And I'm going to try to lead them to use the word bird so that we could practice um, the B and the D. So you're going to see oral rehearsal once again of the pictures and we're going to talk through what a sentence on each page might sound like if we were going to read it in a book. The students will use interactive writing to create their own sentences. They'll reread their books. And then again, I will take these pages together and put them together so that they will have their own book to read. Before we get started writing our book today, I just want, I'm going to show you some words. And if you know the word, I want you to say it, okay? And Kenyatta, I'm going to start with you. Do you know this word? You don't know this word? Do you know this word, Dylan? Yeah, what do you think, Jacob? Yeah. Think that word is she? It is, Kenyatta, that word is she. So Kenyatta, what's this word? She, she. we might want to use this word in our book today. Dylan, you know this word? Get. This word is get, can you say that? Get. Get, get. okay. We might want to use that word. What's can. this word? Can. can, might want to use this word. This word is girl. Yeah, I don't know if we'll use that word today, yeah. but we might you. use you. you. Yeah. Play. Play. We might want to use this word. See. Oh, good job. Can. Oh, this might be a word we want to use. Is. He. What do you think, Jacob? Is, Is you're right. How he. about How about this word? Here. 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 Oh, we might want to use here and he. we might want to use here. At the beginning of a sentence, what do you notice about this here? Um, is it, is it have a huge H and the other one have a lowercase H? Yeah, have you ever heard uppercase? This is the uppercase H. So if we use here in our book, Jacob, you know what? Kenyatta, we might have to start with an uppercase. Okay, so here are some words I just wanted to see we might want to use in our book today. So first, I want to show you guys some pictures um, and see what you notice. Here's the first picture that I want you to take a look at. Um, what do you see? A big cat. You see a bear. And, Dylan, what's the bear doing? Um, in the water catching a fish. Dylan, what's the bear getting? Um, a fish. A fish. What's the bear getting? Fish. A fish. Huh. What's he going to do with that fish, do you think? I'm eating it. Maybe he's going to eat it. Here's another picture. What do you oh. notice here, Kenyatta? The bird catch the fish, but he's flying away with it. That bird's flying away with the fish. Dylan, what do you say? Um, the bird got the fish. So the bird's got the fish. Do you know what kind of bird this is? Jacob, do you know? I've never seen that kind of bird. I know. You know what this is? It's an owl. an owl. Yeah, can you believe it? Look closely at that. You see, see now how that's an owl? What's that owl doing? Um, probably took the fish away from the bear. Oh, maybe it took the fish away from the bear. Could be. All right, what about this one? Kenyatta, what do you see here? And eagle's got the fish. Wait. Jacob, you go next. What do you want to say about this? Are the fish dead? Are the fish dead? Maybe. What makes you think the fish is dead? Because it grew. Dylan, what do you want to say? Um, now the bear got it, and the owl have it. Now the eagle have a fish now. So you're thinking maybe this is the same fish and that the animals keep trading the fish? Yeah. Maybe. So that would be how these pictures are connected, right? Is there any other way that these pictures fit together? Uh, if we were going to make a book with these pictures, what would all what would the book be about? Could be about fish and bears and birds. What do you think, Dylan? Um, I think they're try they're trying 
try to feed it with the 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 babies. The babies are trying to feed a fish for the baby. So you're thinking all of these are maybe the the parent and they're getting fish for the babies. All of these pictures, there's a fish. Uh -huh. And you guys have a storyline here that you're thinking that maybe the parents are getting the fish to take to the babies. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's think about this. Jacob, what can the bird get in this picture? A fish? Yeah, so the bird can get a fish. We could maybe write that on that page, right? What about this page? Uh, bear. This is the bird can get a fish. Who could get a fish on this page? Um, a bear. So maybe we could write the bear can get a fish, right? Who's getting a fish on this page? The eagle. No, owl. The owl can get a fish. So if we were going to write a sentence, on each one of these pages about who's getting a fish, we could write. The owl, and the owl is getting a fish. The owl can get a fish. Can you put your hand up like this? Okay, let's count. How many words would that be? The owl can get a fish. Who wants to write that page? You want to write that page, Kenyatta? Okay, I want you to practice saying it before you write it. Who wants to write this page? Dylan or Jacob? Mm -hmm. Jacob? Okay, so on this page, Jacob, what could you write? Uh, the uh, bear can get a fish. fish. Okay, I want you to practice saying it, and then I want you to write it for me. Dylan, how's this page going to go? Um, the eagle can get the fish. Do you want to say eagle or you want to say bird? Um, bird. Okay, so the, the bird, bird can, can get, get a, a fish. fish. Okay, here's yours. Okay. Okay, what's your first word? You don't? H? Oh, you write the H. Very good. Uh huh. Okay, you are so right. F I S H. I want you to take a look here. I want you to find F for me, and I want you to fix your F. Can you fix your F? You just saw three students working together to create their own text. You saw that we used um, the pictures of the eagle and the bear um, and the owl and they were all eating a fish and the students were able to see that this is what was the same in all of these books. So as we generated a sentence together, I noticed that they were able to do that quite fluently. So in this group today, we added on another sentence. So instead of just one, they were able to create two sentences, which matches what a, a B reader would see in books that they were reading. So one of my goals is to have kids create books that are a lot like what they are reading. That way I can front load some of the language they would see in the books. They'll have practice writing the high frequency words that they will see in the books and they will be able to feel how these sentences would sound, creating them from the inside out. So that's the work that you saw Dylan and Jacob and Kenyatta doing together today. We know how important oral language is to beginning readers, well actually to all readers. One of my goals today in this group is to make sure that I spend some time allowing the students to talk to build some background knowledge before they actually start to write. So one way that I did this was I took one of the pictures that we're gonna be using in our book and I covered up the picture so that I could uh, reveal little pieces of the picture at a time. So the students could start accumulating some of their knowledge about what does this look like? What could this be? 
How could I put all of these parts now together uh, to create meaning? Before we get started, I want to show you something. We're going to make a book and we're going to use some pictures. But let's talk a little bit about these pictures first. All right? So you can't see my picture, can you? Well, I'm going to take just a little bit off the picture, and I want you to study this. I want you to tell me what you think. That's a bird. You think it's a bird, Evan? Why do you think that? It has wings. It has wings. What do you think of Manicio? A bird. You think it's a bird? Why do you think so? Okay, I, I think it's an eagle. Why? Yeah, eagles got the little thing. Straight out? What do you think it is? Why do you think that? Because they have the, um, the eagle thing. What eagle thing? That, this. Oh, so birds you're really... Don't, birds don't have that, but eagles do. Oh. Benicia, what are you thinking about those? They make, they make the eagle go faster. Uh -huh. Do you know what these things are called? Wings. They're wings. It's a special part of the wings. Have you ever heard of this? Feathers? Yeah. 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 Those, and, and you know what, Byron, you're right. Those are really big. Okay, let me show you a little bit more of my picture. See what you think now. Let me tear this part off. Now, what are you thinking? It's an eagle. It's an eagle. Okay, but what do you see? What do you see that makes you think that's an eagle? Byron, what do you see? I because it has the white. <gasps> You're starting to see white tip out of it? Oh, yeah. That makes you think that might be an eagle? Evan, why? Why would that not be another kind of bird? Because it's white right there. Yes, eagle got white head. A white head? Benicia, what do you know about eagles and white heads? I got one. You have an eagle? Yeah, okay, it has a white head. Have you seen a picture of an eagle before? Yeah. And they have white heads? Do you yeah. know another bird that has a white head? No. Yeah. Yeah, Brian, what about other bird? Benicio, is there anything else you want to say about what you notice in that picture? Um, it's more boys who have right heads. Oh, a lot of them. There's a lot of them? So are you sure that's an eagle then? Yeah. Maybe it's one of those other birds. Maybe it's an other bird. Do you need more evidence? Yeah. Evan, you want to see more? All right, now, what do you think? What do you think now? Eagle. No, 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 not eagle. What do you think, Byron? It is an eagle. Why do you think that's an eagle? Because eagles have have those. Have what? Those. What's those? Are right. those tail feathers? Yes. Tail feathers? What do you think, Benicio? No, really. What do you want to say now about this picture? I think that's not an eagle. Because more, more the pictures, they, they don't have that. So they now have, you're not thinking it's an eagle? No. What do you think, Evan? You think it's a duck? Yeah, that's definitely a duck. Huh. Yeah, duck's got that. Okay, <laughs> well, let me take one more thing off. Now, what are you thinking? Oh. Yeah. Evan, what are you thinking? Eagle. There is a fish. What about the fish? Say more about that. Is the fish flying? What's oh, helping the fish fly? Oh, those can um, catch fish with the thing. Do you think that eagle caught the fish like Benicio said? What do you think, Byron? The eagles like fish, and when they're hungry, they go to, when the fish go up, they just fly and then grab them with their feet. <laughs> do you think that's maybe what happened? The eagle went down in the water and grabbed that fish? And now he's flying in the air. What do you think he's going to do with that fish, Benicio? Eat it. He's going to eat the fish? Yep. So maybe, maybe so. Maybe this is a bird that's eating a fish. So what, what can you see on this page? Evan, what do you see on this page? The eagle's like fish. And who's he? The eagle. The eagle. And an eagle is a bird, right? Yes. So would you would you agree? I can see a bird on this page. I can see a bird. Okay, what about this page? What do you see here? Polar bear. Evan, what do you see? Polar bear. 
This isn't actually a polar bear. This is a brown bear. Bear. See, polar bears are are white, right? What's this bear doing? Eating fish. This bear is eating a fish too, right? So what can you see on this page? I can see a a bear, right? Okay. Let me, let me let let's look at this one. Oh, Evan's already going. I see a fish again. So that's kind of the same. This is a bird. It is a bird, exactly. But do you know what kind of bird this is? Um, you might want to go look at its face really closely. No. This is an owl. Can you believe that? Look at his face. If you look closely at his face. Okay. Yeah, that's it. And what is this owl eating? A fish. A fish. So I can see an owl on this page. And this page, the owl is eating a fish. So Evan, what do you hear? What do you see here? I can see an owl. What about this page? I can see a a not a polar bear, a brown bear. I can see. An eagle. What's the same about all three of these pages? They all have the fish. They all the fish? Benicio, how do you think these pages all fit together? Two birds. Ah, two. there's two birds and one bear. So they're all animals. There's no people, are there? What do you but think? There's a peach. But, there's a person on that. but what about on these pages? How are these all alike? Because they all are eating the fish. All of them are animals, and they're all eating fish. Good job. Okay, well, this is what our book is going to be about. So, Evan, I'm going to start with you. Which page do you want to write? Do you want to write the owl page, the bear page, or the eagle page? Eagle. You want to write the eagle page. So, Evan, what do we see on this page? Eagle. Eagle. So, you could write, I can see... An eagle. So, Evan, what are you going to write on this page? Eagle. You're just going to write eagle? What sentence are you going to write? I can write an eagle. I can see an eagle. Okay, excellent. So, how many words is that? Put up your Five. hand. Let's see. Five. Let's say it. Say it with me. I, I can see an eagle. eagle. You could say bird, but Evan, you want to say eagle? Okay. How many words? Five. Five. What's the first word? I. I. You know how to spell I? Okay, you can get started. This group created a book today using one sentence and using high frequency words that were revealed on the Core Phonics survey that they needed additional practice with. At the end of many of these A, B, C books that students are reading, there's often a twist at the end. And the twist in this book was, while the animals were eating fish, there was also a girl that was eating fish at the end. After we've created each page um, for these student booklets, the final step is to create a cover together. What would be a title that would um, be a cohesive way to tie all of these pictures together. And that's what we do in a title. So after talking with these students, we came up with the idea that every one of these pictures had something to do with eating fish. So the title of the book that you just saw these children create today, it was decided that a good title would be Eating Fish. Mm -hmm.